everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we are in Houston, Texas, going to eat some ramen. We're going to a really cool place called Ninja Ramen to do their eight pound ramen challenge. So this is an undefeated ramen challenge. It's apparently equivalent to just over five of their like big bowls of ramen. Um, so you have a whole bunch of noodles. They have a really nice kind of house, house made interesting broth, they said. Then there's a whole bunch of pork belly. There is some of their house made marinated eggs. Uh, some scallions, some bamboo sprouts, um, or shoots, uh, and I believe that's mostly what's in it. Uh, one hour time limit, if you eat it, you get the meal for free, and if you don't, you gotta pay for it. But yeah, it should be pretty good, so we'll get some more info on here momentarily. So here we are with the challenges. They look absolutely delicious. So we have a total of seven and a half of their house marinated eggs, a whack of beautiful pork belly, we have some bamboo, we have some uh, scallions, some green onions there, wax and noodles, a whole bunch of broth. So this is the equivalent of like five of their traditional bowls. But yeah, I mean, it looks amazing. It smells delicious. Like I'm surprised. Like the, smells these, delicious. These eggs take five days to cook, guys. Uh, so they're legit. Brianna, ready to do some eating? I'm ready to try this pork belly. This yeah. pork belly looks amazing. You want a five countdown? Everything's fantastic. Yeah, sure, let's do a countdown together. We got a little bowl, I don't know if we'll use it, but hopefully it's not too hot, but I tell you one thing, you know, it'll be delicious. Ooh, <laughs> so how do we this. get started? We'll Ready? say. Five, four, three, two, one. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Pork belly is like seared. Really nice flavor to it. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Ninja Ramen in Houston, Texas, taking on their great big giant eight pound ramen challenge. Yes, so this is an absolutely massive bowl of ramen and it was undefeated upon our attempt. Um, so we were obviously hoping to change that. However, this thing was an absolute monster. So we had not only the noodles, we had all the uh, delicious marinated eggs, we had the pork belly, the bamboo sprouts, uh, or bamboo shoots I should say, we had scallions, uh, etc etc um, so with this challenge I had a very nice rich creamy broth and I will say it was probably the best ramen broth I've ever had like legit it was really good that broth is phenomenal though. So I'm mostly used to a ramen with like kind of more of a miso or like a clear broth and this creamy broth, just the flavors that were so exceptional and with the umami of those marinated eggs, just oh, it was just too good. And those eggs are pretty special, they're harvested from virgin mermaids. <laughs> I don't know how you get those. <laughs> I showed them mermaid born. <laughs> Zoolander. Nice. What? Are they for real? No! no. <laughs> I'm very gullible. <laughs> they said mermaid. I'm a mermaid. I guess Brandon believes in mermaid. I do. And ultimately, the excellent flavors really made this an enjoyable dish. Um, it was very, very hot, and it was a very hot day, so eating such hot food and hot weather is a little bit more difficult but in regards to flavors and stuff it was just absolutely phenomenal would definitely recommend um, again the pork belly there as well was also solid and really I had no complaints overall um, ramen and noodles are generally not my forte to eat but literally I'll go back to the flavor with the flavor being so good I found this just absolutely delicious and very easy to eat um, we had a one hour time limit to complete it in which we were hoping that would be enough time um, if we just kind of put our heads down, gave it a good old run and uh, really ate it all as quickly as we could, uh, which hopefully we can. Oh man, those eggs are delicious. They are. I'm thinking about, thinking about how the eggs taste. The eggs are really good. Marinated it has a lot of flavor. Just for a taco with eggs. Well, how do y'all do on your eggs? Let me, let me see what's going on. Um, like the soft yolks. Ooh, such a difference. Such a mouthfeel. First, they're mermaid eggs. And then, second, nice. they're cured for five days. <laughs> cured for five days. 
While the restaurant itself is a very, it's very um, kind of deceiving from the outside, it looks pretty quiet from the outside. Um, the place was awesome. The people and the staff were excellent. You can hear them joking, you can hear them uh, interacting with us. They were all so cool and they know how to make great food. So like definitely a really cool spot to stop on in where you can grab some ramen and have some uh, you know, funny chats with down to earth people. Uh, so just over about three and a half minutes in, very, very delicious. Uh, we're both doing really well. Raina's mostly done her broth. I've got my meats gone, but now let's try some of these bamboo sh shoots. Shoots, there you go. Oh yeah, it's great flavor. I didn't realize how many noodles were in there. I don't know how Raina can eat this stuff so hot. I can't eat it hot. Like Asian I'm, power. I feel like I'm burned in my mouth. Asian power. Yeah. I guess she's, I guess she's used to it. Oh. I'll try to maybe let some of these cool off. I don't know if that's going to help too much. But. And ultimately, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have to share. So again guys, if you're ever in Houston, Ninja Ramen is definitely a cool place to check out. If you want a delicious bowl of ramen, um, whether it be a big one like this one or a more normal sized one, both would recommend. Really enjoyed it. Get those eggs, get that broth, and then everybody I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully we can get some wins and let's see what happens. We're almost done. What, can we give them the kid size or what? <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on six minutes. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 She's already taking the bowl. It's also not pork belly, it's unicorn belly. Yeah. Oh, nice. How's it taste, Rihanna? Right Very unicorn. -y. It's actual unicorn, so. That's right. Special hair. Special hair. Alright, let's try to drink this broth. It's delicious. It's just hot, but very, very flavorful. It's like creamy. Mm -hmm. Hot. Okay, your time stopped at seven minutes and fifty-five seconds. Perfect. 
Just shy of eight minutes. Yeah. Excuse me, very, very delicious. That, that's a bad part, was a compliment to the chef. But uh, yeah, it's super delicious. Very much enjoyed that challenge. That is some of the best tasting ramen I've definitely ever had. Really like that creamy broth they kind of got there. I don't know if it's really cream in it, but whatever it is, they're doing it right. So, rain is finishing up. Just about a moment. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, not hopefully, I'm calling it now. We'll have the first two winners of this challenge. We still got the hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. Optional. Optional. <laughs> they have dessert. They got mango mochi ice cream, right? Did they? I don't know. Dessert. I'm dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Booty Donuts for <laughs> I mean, I do like donuts, not gonna lie, but. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try dessert. Yeah, I'm gonna try dessert. Yeah, I'm gonna try dessert. Very delicious, like ramen. Definitely would recommend coming by here. So, with that, everybody, till next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Brianna, any last words? I like unicorns and mermaids. <laughs> she likes unicorns and mermaids. <laughs> unicorns and mermaids. I mean, if that was what was in this dish, I'd like to eat them as well. So, that, everybody, have a lovely day. <coughs> don't, don't choke her. Yeah, you got it.